here we are with edge runner episode 6 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode Okay, where do we pick up this episode? Last episode we got Tanaka, right? The Arasaka Corpo. So I guess we will start with that. Getting information from him, I guess, is what we want. Or do we take him as like a hostage or something i don't know did they say what they want to do with them so far we just i guess we want information right taking him as a hostage i think wouldn't be a good idea hmm. I wonder if we will do some interrogation. Interrogation? Dude, I can't pronounce. Um, yeah, beating the shit out of him, maybe. <laughs> no, we're in the desert. Jogging in the desert? That sounds like a bad idea. Dude, that's far away from anything. Oh, is this young Barrett? Yes. Interesting. Oh, he's glitching. Oh, they beat him up, okay. <laughs> oh, she diving into him, maybe? To get information? Oh, is he going crazy right now? I guess he did a bit. <clears throat> oh boy, that's not good. Oh, hello. God damn. <laughs> I mean, he beat the shit out of her.
And this is pretty. F oh, her too. And this is pretty fucked up, right? You take all these chrome to basically, basically improve yourself, but it completely screws with your head and all. I, that thing would completely fuck him up <laughs> if he would have taken it. Is she also glitching? Oh, so she is hacking into him now? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I see it coming, they have to fight against him and kill him. I have a bad feeling. I hope nothing bad happens to Lucy. <clears throat> oh my god, this episode went down south real quick. Thank <laughs> you.
Oh, he's starting to see shit. Oh no. David, put him to sleep. Asif, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh my god. You want to use them too, dude? What are you talking about? Oh, she gets information about him, too. I went to the moon <laughs> with Lucy. <laughs> Oh, did he self-destruct or something? Oh my god. Oh, oh. So now they have to hurry up before the trauma team comes. Dude, shit went south so fast.
They can even track that if there was gunfire. For some reason, mm hmm. Was it just a trap, a bait? That would mean that that would mean that the uh Man, I'm spacing out right now. <laughs> Oh my god. Did she saw what could happen to David if he uses the sand of his? But yeah, I guess that means if that was a trap, that means that's the guy that gave him the gig I'm spaced out on the word um that he did all of this right that it was his plan plot whatever he's glitching oh no uh oh oh Is it? What's he? Did he beat him up with Tanaka? Oh my god. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Evacuate. Get the fuck out of here. Mm. Little bitches. Oh, patient is dead? Yeah, your problem if you die. We don't deal with this shit.
so he wants to burn her in his mind, but he he wants to explode everything in reality. He got his hands. Holy shit, what an episode. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, man, dude, this <laughs> is absolutely not what I was expecting. I didn't thought that we would get to this point so quickly. I mean, I, 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 I said it, right? I can't see it happening that everyone dies, right? Except like Lucy and David. Um... But I thought like maybe that happens in like one of the last episodes, right? Not like halfway through the season, basically. Um, man, this went down south real quick. <clears throat> First, you have the beginning where you think like, what is going on? Someone jogging in the desert? And then it's like, Oh, that's a young main. And then you realize, oh shit, he's like, not good. Because this is a crazy part, right? Um, you basically start as a normal human being, right, I guess. And then, over time, you just start upgrading your body with all these uh, cyberwares, right? The eyes, maybe some fists, some other implants that make your body more sturdier or stronger or some hidden weapons and all that stuff some go more for like 
you have just more power others go for like the hacking abilities and all that stuff to be like net runners and everything right but yeah the more you implant on yourself the more you kind of lose yourself right because you get the cyber psychosis right which takes over and then you start glitching and all that shit which we saw with, uh, with main now that he's like basically at his limit because he has so much stuff in his body basically <clears throat> that it's like basically he's corrupting his mind right and that's very interesting because here you can see like how it like where how it just takes over and he doesn't even realize it right he beat up kiwi basically ripped out her mouth piece whatever and he's like did we got jumped what what happened so that's very crazy and this is something that i think is very interesting about the anime is because we never really saw that stuff happening in the game right we knew there's cyber psychosis and we knew that if you have too much cyber stuff equipped on yourself that it messes with your brain basically and makes you go insane a bit um <clears throat> but it was never really shown that way right we know okay there are some people that are crazy because they are equipped and you had to kill some but you never really saw how it really happens like in this form we saw it here in this episode right um so i think that was very interesting and yeah it's just like very conflicting i guess right because in this case here yeah, main is like their boss and everything is going well they all work together they all live together i mean they don't live together but i mean they work together and they <clears throat> are around each other like each day basically i guess and having a good time for what they're doing right and then this shit happens and it basically is like very troublesome because you see what can happen now right <laughs> and yeah main was like pretty different right he started to slap david the whole time and just like hey mind your own business and all that stuff and yeah he was way different than before then he started to see things when uh, the one guy the fixer that's the word that i was blanking out in the episode on um when the fixer called him and um, he started to see him even if he even though he wasn't there so yeah it's just very messed up <clears throat> and yeah the whole time he sees something right he's in this desert going around and seeing things that uh, uh seeing things that aren't there almost walks into a into a wall <laughs> because he is in this desert and is just walking around and all that stuff and at the end you saw him like um what was her name oh my god i'm um the, the, the girl his, i guess his girlfriend you can say um gory doria dorio doria um yeah in his mind he put her on like a stack of wood i guess to burn her right <clears throat> and here in in reality he put him he put it on like these explosives basically i guess i mean they explode if you shoot them um so like quite different and yeah he wasn't completely gone but he wasn't completely gone because i mean he still at the end he saw david he could talk to him somewhat calmly right and tell him what to do that he should keep running and all that stuff and isn't just going to attack him <clears throat> so he wasn't completely gone but i mean yeah he wasn't himself really too and then we have like the interesting part of because obviously because kiwi was out of commission they <coughs> called for lucy because she's like the only other netrunner in their group basically i guess and that's the interesting part um lucy was very conflicted we saw her shaking and i'm wondering did she shake because she was afraid or was she shaking because she's also maybe because she also has too much stuff equipped and is like right getting to the cyber psychosis part because she has too much stuff equipped and it's messing with her head i don't know because um main was also like shaky right so i wonder if it was that or if she was maybe just afraid of what could happen because this is like a messy situation where we basically dive into an arasaka corpo which is dangerous right because arasaka is not something you want to mess with 
um, because like they said Arasaka is basically at the very top of the food chain and you don't really want them as your enemy because they have basically all the power in the world to fuck you over and yeah also like what David said why is she like hiding her uh, jack and port in the back of her head I mean I could say because you don't want to have it exposed right <laughs> so but I mean maybe you just put a normal plate in there right that just covers the hole or something but she has like something that really hides it completely as if she had nothing there um, yeah it's it's very interesting that it seems like Lucy is still very mysterious right and there is like stuff going on that we don't know about she's like very conflicted for some reason that we don't know of because like I said she was shaking I don't know like I said if it was because she is maybe too much equipped with cyberware and is like close to cyber psychosis herself or maybe she was just afraid or something um, and she needed David to say that he trusts in her before she could do it <clears throat> then the port that she's hiding like David said why she's doing that which we didn't get an answer for and then in her when she was diving um, we saw her for a split second that she had like a flashback of her running so maybe that's in her that could have so many meanings I would say it could be that it could be something from the past where she was running that she's maybe running from her past or maybe <clears throat> it's more like based on the current situation where it's like she wants to run from the situation she just wants to get away from it because it's just not a good situation to be in right um, and then yeah at the, she saw something in Tanaka's mind I guess you could say I guess all the stuff about um, the sand of it, I guess she saw because she saw the in, uh, she saw the incident with um, David and the Tanaka's son how she attacked him uh, how he attacked him so maybe she I mean we don't know how much she saw she maybe saw like all the information about the sand of it, right that Tanaka knew about maybe so maybe she knows what could happen to David if he uses it uh, if he uses it more right the negative sides that it can have and maybe because she likes him she doesn't want him to use it and she, he, she knew that if he goes and tries to help Maine that he would have to use it and that it's not good and that's why she didn't want him to go and help um, maybe that's what it was why she was the way she was in the car right when he got out um, but yeah, David went after Maine, tried to help him, and yeah, we saw what happened. <sighs> but yeah, it, it was also interesting when David talked to Tanaka, right? It, it's kind of dumb. David knows that, I guess David knows that uh, he has to be, that he has to sleep in order for Lucy to dive safely, right? And he just hesitates he likes lucy he knows that she's in danger in there right that it's like a risky thing to do and he probably knows that he has to be asleep but he's still hesitating which is kind of why why are you putting lucy at risk just to listen to that guy right and then what he was talking about like hey yeah you would be a valuable asset right that's all he would do he would be like a test subject to see because he's resistant to the sand of his influence the negatives I guess from what they said so they want to see how far they can go probably test it out on him um, because like I said it's maybe like a new product or something or a dangerous product that they just want to optimize um, and then he's like why are you helping them they are just using you and I'm like dude that's the same thing you would do you you just said it he's a valuable asset He's not a valuable person he's a valuable asset that's that already says everything right he's an asset not a person or something else he's an asset and yeah but i guess it's just that david is also like conflicted right maybe it's because maybe he's conflicted about it because he heard that tanaka said that 
he like put him back into the school right because they want to um they want him as a valuable asset and i guess the thing is that still david thinks about his mother and the mother wants the best for him so she wanted him to go to the best school with this which is the arasaka school to get a good life and then tanaka also said that he can't really get away from them right that just like you will always be in the shadow of those big corpos in this world and i guess that's really something to like think about that maybe this is a chance if he helps him to get him out that he could get out of this whole situation get a better life maybe and not have to risk his life basically right and could maybe run into some bad shit and just die from it so it's like very conflicting in this world i would say right because the corpus are so big and they have so much influence and otherwise when you are like at the bottom of the list then where david is basically at right um, he's not a big shot in the underground world basically if you want to call it that and so he's very very low at the line and yeah you basically just try to to get a living right you just try to get by with what you're doing so it's just rough in this world basically <clears throat> and so yeah i wanted to say something but i lost track um i forgot it um yeah i don't know i forgot what i wanted to say um but yeah, it now he got now he was able David was able to get the arms from Main before he when he left, right? Like he said, like Main said, if he dies he can get the arms. So I guess he got them. But something I was expecting is that when we saw at the end Lucy trying to call David and he didn't pick up and nothing happened basically for a few seconds, I thought that's where it would end cliffhanger right <laughs> but okay they didn't do that they showed okay david came out and they just drive away don't talk so yeah man i that was a crazy episode man like i said it, it just went down south so quickly from last episode where you think like, okay some bad stuff is happening right it's not optimal and you think like but yeah we will see how it goes and then this episode everything just went south immediately from the get-go holy shit so yeah it will be very interesting now what happens next i guess david and lucy will stick around and i hope we get some information about lucy because like i said she seems very mysterious she seems to have like maybe some backstory that could be important for the reason why she is the way she is and i guess we will just have to wait and see with the next episode so I'm like I said I'm I'm loving this anime I love it I hope it gets a season two but I guess that also depends on how well or it, it depends on like how the end turns out episode 10 right if it's like a conclusive end to the story or if it like has an opening for like a potential season two I would just hope that we get more but yeah we will see so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and I would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye